me what's up Think you gon' play me, just know that I'm not one of them Feel like I don't know you, don't come around no invader it's your boy Noto coming to you another video coming to you another podcast man in today's video we're going to discuss the number one sign to tell if you have an above average level of z if you're new here or you already been here going to click that like button go ahead and comment going to subscribe click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i drop a video and without further ado let's going to get into this topic man bro i'm gonna tell you guys man and i'm pretty sure all y'all done went through this if you have an above uh, average level of z Bro, you have experienced this on multiple occasions, multiple occasions, probably every day. But the number one sign I can always say that if you have an above average level of seat is that no matter what, no matter what, anybody that come around, bro, the, the conversation always end up being about fitness one way or another, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That is the number to me. That is the number one sign. Other than people saying like, "Oh, bro, you jack, bro." I mean, that's obvious. But if people always coming up to you, you notice that every time you have a try to have a normal. It's been times I had tried to have a normal conversation. I'm talking about just talking about okay, going to theme parks or talking about traveling and stuff like that. But it always end up trickling around some type of fitness. They'll be like, "Oh yeah, we went over there and we got on the fair rides." But oh, bro, man, um, I've been on my diet, bro. I've been lifting weights, bro. I just started doing push ups today. It's like it seemed like they always got to report to you. They fit. They uh. Um, they um their workout stats and all this bro like this is the this is the number one sign that that uh people view your physique as an above average level physique because ain't nobody from the keep coming to talk to no slob or somebody that don't have no above average level physique talking about oh bro i've been working out bro because they because bro they can't really relate to that but your physique bro your physique speaks volumes bro your physique damn that compels them it compels them to talk about fitness bro that's why a lot of people end up being intimidated because they feel like they have to do that it's been like times like like every time i come around it's almost like they want you to talk about i'll be like i don't even want to talk about it i don't even want to talk about it for real i'll just be chilling i don't i don't try to be like hey you get on your diet get on this uh do this do that dude i don't be saying nothing to them they come to you they'll come to you and talk about fitness bro every time bro like i'm, I'm pretty sure y'all have been through this all the time like even, and even better even um better evidence of this is people that don't even think that you want a fitness journey don't even know your journey don't really know you people that don't even know you start coming up saying oh man uh bro what do you do to uh, come lift up weights bro uh what can i do for my diet and they start coming to you for advice and stuff like that you got people that saying oh um they want to um they want to work out with you especially like a lot of the older ladies be saying oh they want to come uh work out with you or they want you to uh train them and stuff like that that's the main thing bro that's the number one sign because when people come to you and ask you questions bro they feel like you have some type of value bro they, ha they feel like they have some type of value they ain't gonna come up to any like scrub saying oh uh talking about some workout advice if they don't even look like they work out just keep it keep it a buck you got an above average physique if they feel like oh i gotta keep reporting i gotta keep reporting i'm talking about every conversation i have always end up trickling into my body and, and my physique in some terms in some way shape, shape form or fashion and i'm just cutting you see what i'm saying i'm just cutting you know what i mean my legs together don't don't hey, they, like, hey, no, the way you know, like, hey, they cut trust and believe me they definitely cut but i don't i don't i don't want no big bulky ass legs i really kind of want a track body but a little bit above that so that's my that's my goal i don't want to look like no big ass bodybuilder nothing like that but that's just my that's my personal goal but anyway my thing is it always end up coming around your physique bro people gonna always feel compelled to ask you a question about fitness in one way shape form or fashion bro it is it just never fails bro it never fails you can you could really be trying to talk about anything else you really could just be trying to take the conversation in every other direction but it seems like they always just feel this 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 little something is hanging over their shoulder that they just have to talk about it it's because your feel your physique is radiating bro your physique is radiating bro it speaks for you so the, the work that you put in speaks for you it go, speaks volumes for you bro so people notice that and they just want to know like damn bro like that's why they can't deny it bro so that's why i say it's always a crossroads people either gonna hate or they either gonna be appreciative and actually want to know how to get there it's gonna be people that actually want to do that for themselves and they want to come to you for advice that means if they come to you for advice it's almost like them putting themselves in the um in the place of a student and looking at you somewhat as a sensei or a master it's just it's the way it is it's just the way it is like because they ain't not gonna come asking for advice from a person that, that that don't look like they know what the hell they doing that don't look like they know what they that they can teach i done had people that actually lift and weights and that's actually doing their journey they actually kind of look jack themselves come asking me for advice so that that says something that definitely says something bro 
Like, I really just don't. I don't be wanting to talk about it. I'm telling you, guys. <laughs> I I swear to God, I do not be wanting to talk about it, bro. I do not be. And, and then that's probably the reason why a lot of people might think that you're uptight and stuff like that. Because you have an above average level physique. They might just think that, oh, you, you, you're full of yourself. Or, or they feel like they're going to have to face their insecurities if they come talk to you. Like, and, that, and that's another thing, too. That's probably why a lot of people probably be intimidated and don't, don't really want to talk to you because they feel like they're going to have to talk to you about fitness or they feel like that you that you always breathe, walk, talk, breathe fitness all the fucking time, all the freaking time. So uh, that's just the way it is, man. That's just the way it is. You're going to intimidate some people and you're going to have people that's like really appreciative of what you're doing. Like, and it just, it's just the way it is. It comes with the territory, bro. Everybody having above average level physique, going to face that to some degree, bro. They're going to face that to some degree. So you got people asking you, telling you about fitness, coming to you, asking about your workouts. Like, you notice that your conversations always end up leading to, oh, the diet, oh, I'm doing this. Or they just inadvertently just start talking about how they how they doing something around fitness. That means they see you as an above average level. Z. That's the number one sign, guys. It ain't really too much for me to really say about that, bro. But, bro, that is, that is a telltale sign that you have an above average level for Z. And appreciate that. Appreciate that. That comes with the territory, bro. And, hey. Keep grinding, keep grinding. That means other people noticing you and they actually coming to you for advice. They coming to you for advice. Yeah, you should feel good about yourself. I know it get kind of aggravating from time to time because you make, because it seems like some people, it feel like you forcing them to talk about it, but you don't, you, you're not forcing them. It's just your body is, your physique is radiating so much. It feels like they feel compelled to talk about it. That, not, that's what I'm just going to chalk it up to. I'm going to leave it at that. But anyway, it's your boy Noto. Come to another video. Come to another podcast, man. If you enjoy the content, go on to click that like button. Go on to comment. Go on to subscribe. Click that notification bell so you be notified whenever I drop a video. And remember, guys, anybody can improve themselves. They want to work at it. I'm out. I'm chilling. I really ain't worried about niggas. I promise I keep it a cool and masada. Even though niggas be looking and sounding like me, that boy Morris said I'm not the father. Well, I'm a dog. I get vicious when I'm irritated. I might need a shock on my collar. Don't got a filter. Just keep it straightforward. I play my position. Andre Iguodala. Ain't no exposing me. I get a D hit or ovary. Don't even go down that road. With me. And if a chicken obsess, I don't need it. I want that Miss Parker with Professor Ogilvy. Bitch ain't no testing me. None of these bitches be stressing me. Capping like they got the best of me. If she go off and get with another man, really she still gonna be thinking about sexing me. Done with these bitches. Let's get to this paper. One piece of the pie. Said loud on the mirror. Chasing that money. Coyote wrote run. I ain't doing no talking just like Tom and Jerry. Ain't no beef or no drama. It won't make no money to me. It's just unnecessary. But if I'm pushing, I'm gonna have to crash out on a nigga. And then I'ma call up as Gary.